there is also this French tendency to believe that racism is an American problem, <laughs> you know, or an American invention. So BLM provides a grammar of race and racism and liberation that challenges uh, the erasure and the silencing of systemic racism in France. In the United States, you have what I would call the origin story. Except the Native Americans, everybody came from somewhere. Some voluntarily, some other involuntarily, they were kidnapped. You have a certain kind of narrative and slavery ha happened on the mainland. France, it's different. Everything took place outside of the European continent. So you have this divide between France located in Europe, France located all over the globe, meaning the French colonial empire. The difference is that French people tend to ignore this history because their slave colonies are far away, <laughs> because they are overseas. There is this refusal to take into account the history of slavery and colonization and how race was part of it and how we're still dealing with that legacy. which uh, white French people think about race is through the lens of immigration. This idea that black people cannot be French. They're always coming from elsewhere. Therefore, when you are black, people will constantly ask you, where are you from? We're still in the process of trying to rebuild, reconstruct politically our consciousness, our Pan-African and black consciousness. say that last summer, the death of George Floyd gave new life to our advocacy and organizing work, which became really a national movement for social and racial justice. This is something that we have not seen in France uh, in any protests or, or, or demonstration. But they're not rallying specifically for George Floyd, right? They're rallying against anti-Black violence in order to make justice for their own people in their own country, in their own neighborhoods, in, in their own cities. Because anti-blackness is global. Because anti-blackness is, as I said earlier, anti-blackness is part of French history, it's part of German history, it's part of, of English history. That's why people were identifying. And I think this thing created or, or at least revived a conscious a, a black international consciousness. The challenge we're facing is how is it possible to organize this rage, to organize this desire to fight for a post-racist world. It is very important to link, I think, all those things together in order to uh, transform this rage, anger, and power that expresses at specific moment like George Floyd's death, and in order to make it last throughout uh, months, years, and maybe why not decades. As long as French Black French activists or activists in France, French are unable to create a language or a discourse that address really the complexity of French colonization and imperialism. It's always going to be hard to have those conversations because people will say, well, this is the American model. This is not our history. This is not how we do things. So I think people will have to be creative, otherwise it's just going to be a dead end.